Alright guys, so today we're going to be making some cake. Um, how are you guys doing? I hope all is well. So I'm going to tell you the ingredients that I have. So I have the cake, which is the batter. I have the frosting, I have the oh, don't drop no. I have my three eggs, one, two, three. Um, I have my bowl, I have my oil, and my water, my one cup of water. Oops. All right. So we're just gonna put these to the side just for a couple of moments. We don't want no spilling. So the oven is already preheated. Um, everything is good. So we're just gonna jump straight into the video. Right, so this is the cake I like to use. I like either this cake. I don't mean like chocolate cake. Um, I like this cake or like a, a lemon cake. That's the, I only like strawberry shortcake from a bakery, but a Pacific bakery in the Bronx. So what I've been thinking about. Like, I don't know if I... Oh. Right, I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys know I'm gonna talk and um, work. And everything. I'm sorry, I, I forgot the... Um, Scissor, a bit scissor. Be back. Talk to mom just now. All right. So, like I was saying, I'm not sure, like, if many of you guys know, but um, I and maybe this year is 2023. So maybe like in next couple of years, I'm not really sure when. I want to. Of course, if I know like I have been like off my journey, I'm supposed to be like showing you the house that's being um like fixed up and, and everything. And I've been like totally like private with that and I'm sorry. It's just that right now, this current moment, I'm trying to fix up the two bathrooms and it's just taking like a longer process than I thought it would be. Um, you know, right now we're in August, and I'm hoping and praying that it's done before, like the holidays, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and stuff. So I'm not sure what's taking so long. Um, everything is already picked out. Everything's ready. Every, you know. So uh, you know, just longer than expected. For materials to come in and from the right size measurements because um as of you know this house is 27 years old um about to be 28 um when i was born this house was being built so um you know it's pretty i'm not saying that we're old but it's pretty old compared to like a house like they like you know it's older like parts and stuff like back in like the 90s and stuff like that because it was made in the 90s. They made, like, they used, like, different materials. They used, um, pretty much different everything. So they're trying to make sure if they use something else that the house can take it. Because I'm not sure if I told you guys before. But, like, when we used to, like, get the house, like, fixed up. Like, it used to have, like, a lot of leakages. Um... It's like the house was like just about to just fall apart and stuff. 
I guess either the, it was like too heavy for the for the walls, the ceilings, or whatever. So it was like it's been a lot that's been going on. And everything. So um, I just been like kind of like you know to myself because it's like it's like it's kind of like stressful. It's like come on, let's go, let's go. So back to what I was saying. I'm planning to move to Houston, Texas. Um, a couple of years. It's not like people leave New York because of well, people leave New York before you know their own reason. I'm not leaving New York because it's too it's too expensive. That has nothing to do with it being expensive. I don't really care about it being expensive. It's not affecting me in any type of way. Um, what else? Um, oops, yeah. So, I'm leaving because I just want uh, a new start in life, you know, um, and to move to Houston, Texas, I'm, I'm going there because of the heat, I love the heat, New York, you know, has heat for like summertime, um, and for the big houses, yes, you could get like a bigger house, maybe, Maybe not like the land. I don't know. Probably like upstate New York. You get like the same land. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. But I like how, you know, I could, if I want to buy like a land, build a house on top of it down there, I could. Um, what else? Yeah, but like you could get like a house anywhere and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. I just like it down there. Not that I, will, I will always love New York because you know, born and raised um, in New York and stuff. But sometimes you need a. I'm just checking to see if there's any shelves. Um, you know, if you're born and raised, and it's not like it's a bad place, you know. It's a really good. New York is a freaking beautiful place, the most beautiful city in the world. Alright, so I'm adding the water. oil you know it has nothing to do with oh I don't like this place no more because of X Y Z or the crime there's crime everywhere and stuff like that but the most thing I'm like kind of scared like to leave New York for like to move out down to the second no everything's cheaper down there like I won't get like the same pay rate that I do now working here in the school district and stuff you know I'll get like a lesser pay um, then I like the fact that we have to end in May, go back to work in August, and I'm used to ending in June, going back in September. I'm like, ugh, and everything. I'm gonna put these in the sink real quick and get a big spoon to mix it. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my mixer and crack it in. I think there's an outlet somewhere. Okay, you're in here. I'm gonna rinse these off because it's been in the cabinet for a while. Yeah, so, you know, but back to what I was talking about. Like, I know, like, everything tastes different in different states. No pizza can compare to New York's pizza. Uh, when I was in different states before, I, I didn't like their chicken. And who can mess up on chicken? But I just didn't like their chicken um, and stuff. So I know what I was told was, like, say like if I had like a birthday party and stuff, and on go to one specific bakery, which is in the Bronx, New York, and stuff, that I could either have the bakery send the cake from New York to Houston or I can pick it up go three hours on the plane and three hours back <laughs> I, was like, I know it's crazy but like I am very loyal to my cake bakery um, if I if they could ship it to me from New York to Houston or if they could if I could go pick it up and then bring it back I would do so I'm that cake crazy and stuff but um 
Yeah, I was told like T V T V S whatever the heck it's called, T S A, that all you gotta do is just let them scan the cake. First put it through a scanner and then you know to check it for you know stuff because it is the airport. Um, and then they have to put like a, a note on it saying that it's safe, it was scanned, it's okay to go on the plane. And yeah, so if I have to do that, I will go through all that just to get my cake because my birthday is going to be coming up, my husband's birthday is going to be coming up, my kid's birthday is going to be coming up, and if I find a cake bakery down there that I like, then, you know, maybe, I don't know. But for right now, what's in my mind is getting the cake from my bakery, which is here in New York. And stuff. So I'm, I'm just really scared to leave New York because, I'm not really scared, but I'm just really like second guessing a lot of stuff because I'm like, I've been leaving all the like good delicious food behind. Um, I'm a girl, like, <laughs> I don't really like southern food. Um, the only thing I'm eating is just like fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and cornbread. And that's really about it. I'm not, you know, I'm a city girl. <laughs> I stick to my pizza and all this extra stuff. But I'm, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really like a southern food eater. We have like, I know it's not compared to like down south food, but we have a whole bunch of like southern foods down here. And I don't eat, I don't eat from them. I eat my Spanish food, my Chinese food, my pizza, my McDonald's, Wendy's and stuff. And that's really about it. And stuff, but anything else? No. And you know, I do cook at home. Right, so it's gonna be a little noisy, so I'm just going to not talk. Alright. Oh, this is awesome machine. Alright, I'm so I'd be scared to do this because I'm scared to go everywhere. Oh man. I'm scared guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes underneath, you could not actually mix up everything down there and stuff. All right, so everything seems pretty good. in the sink. I'm actually gonna lick these off but I'm not doing it on camera. So not all of it though. Just a little bit. Yeah, 
So I got my cake pan. Um, it was pretty. Here's all the ingredients. I said how to make a cake if you don't know. Alright, so I'm probably just gonna spray my spray. Probably in the cabinet. My little cabinet. Cooking spray. Do you have baking spray? Okay, yes, this is baking. Yay! I'm sorry, I like to be sure because I want my cake to be messed up. So I'm just gonna like start cleaning up a little bit. And stuff. So I got all like my napkins and stuff here. This is so old, so it looks a little dingy. This <coughs> spray's trying to kill me. Ooh. Yeah, so let me know in the comment section down below. How far would you go for your favorite cake bakery? Would you do like the same thing I'm willing to do or no? Because I'm willing to just go across the freaking state just for that cake. I know it sounds a little, like a little bit crazy, except but when you have like a uh, good bakery, and mind you, it's just not like a bakery that I've been going to for a couple of months. I my mom actually been going there since my brothers was little, and they're 33 and 34 since I was a baby. I'm 27 years now, till 27 years old now. My mom's baby shower cake when she, when I was pregnant, when she was pregnant with me. Her cake came from there. All my brother's cakes came from there. Uh, my nephew cake, because he has turned one, my nephew cake came from there. All my birthday parties cake came from there. So we've been going there for like, maybe over 30 something years and stuff. So, well not me, but you know, my mom and everything. And stuff, and it's right where I grew up. Berkeley and Wallace. So, um, yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna put this bad boy in its pan, in its new hole. So, let's go. want like enough room because you want it to like it's gonna rise so I'm not sure I like a bigger spoon but it's alright Alright, so I'm just 
we're just gonna put this thing in here and when it comes out, I'll be back. Just about to frost it, and I was almost about to not record it. So there's a little bit of frosting like right there. I just made it on, but luckily, it my head. I was like, oh, okay. So I got like I know I need a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna go on Amazon. Before the summer's over, I get like a new pot set, a uh, baking set, stuff for baking utensils. Because I got this wooden spoon that you normally make like for like soups and stuff. I got like this set, the bamboo utensil set. You know, it, 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 it works. So if I haven't used it for the whole cake to blow apart, I just feel like this. And stuff. So I'm not really good at frosting cake. I'm not sure if I have a video on here on YouTube already with me frosting cake, but I'm not good. So I guess it's now time to get my practicing. So when I have kids, all oh, this will be already set. Right, so let's just see how this goes. So, you know, give me some tips. I got to look on YouTube to how to you know how to frost a cake or. I can go to baking school because I always want to go to baking school. And stuff, but, uh, so I know I probably need like a whole lot and stuff, but I'm just like I haven't used this bamboo thing before, so I'm just kind of like wary of it too, you know. Um, you know? But look how like goldenish and browning this cake look looks so good but I'm still kind of nervous with this bamboo thing so we're just gonna wing it you know? Moon, guys. Make sure you turn on your, your post notifications so you know every time I post a video. Comment, share, subscribe. Like I said before, turn on your post notification so that people know anytime I drop a little post drop with a video. That's fun. I know, like, for my mom, she wants like a little bit of frosting, so always. What? Yeah. She's rude. So this side is for my mom. She don't really like sweet. She don't like frosting like that. So 
at the polite Oreo frosting. And she only like frosting. I'm gonna pull a little bit. But she only like frosting around the edges of me. I don't know. She's a weirdo. Her side. Because she doesn't like all that frosting. She likes very little bit. So, guys, this is the cake. 